everyone, my name is Mikkelsen and today I'm going to teach you on how to conduct the collection and storage of plant materials for DNA extraction using the T-Bag method. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to do plant sampling using two different protocols in great details. Protocol 1, Kampung Kampung style. Protocol 2, proper ways of plant sampling for a particular species. The plant species that we are going to use in our plant sampling for today is the cassava leaf, which is a common plant species that you can find almost anywhere. Before we start, these are the list of materials that you need for plant sampling. <laughs> Empty tea bag. Ziploc bag. Silica gel, scissor, seventy per cent alcohol, rubber glove, and label sticker. Our plant sampling will begin with protocol one. This protocol does not require any tools or materials. All we need is our hands. Simply pluck the leaf and place the leaves in a small container and keep them there. Remember to always choose the youngest leaf for plant sampling and DNA extraction, as young leaves have more DNA than the older leaves. This is because chemical differences accumulate in older leaves. You've seen we use protocol 1 for our plant sampling. What about protocol number 2? Here are the steps for protocol 2 using the same plant species. Make sure you wear your gloves. Wipe your scissors with 70% alcohol to prevent any cross-contamination of DNA during leaf sampling. Cut the youngest leaf that you possibly could using the sterile scissor. The plant organ is placed inside the tea bag. Then put the tea bag containing the plant organ inside the Ziploc bag. The tea bag is then placed in an airtight container and submerged in silica gel. Silica gel aids in the drying of the leaf, preventing mold growth which can disrupt DNA during DNA extraction. Have you learned anything new today? Plant sampling using protocol 1 is not recommended. In fact, protocol 2 is much more preferable as it prevents cross-contamination of plant sampling. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.